Joining us from New York to talk about the eclipse and harnessing solar energy is Scott Van Pelt. He is the engineering director of Urban Green Energy, a renewable energy company. So we're going to uh, get a little serious here, Scott. You know, the eclipse obviously was great for many to watch, but there was actually some real concern about a disruption in Europe's power grid. So could a short eclipse really make that big of a difference? Yeah. So today was a great day for renewable energy. Um, Europe derives a lot of its power from solar power. Germany, in particular, uh, pulls the higher percentage of its power from solar resources than any other country in the world. And so the fact that uh, everything went just fine today, that despite the solar eclipse, despite all of that power being pulled out of the grid and then re being re-injected into it, um, is really a great testament to, uh, to where we've come in terms of renewable energy. Uh, it shows that uh, it shows that utilities can draw a large amount of power from renewables and still provide stable, reliable power to their customers. Were you surprised that there was little or just basically no disruption at all? I'll be honest, I was not surprised. Um, for renewable power, uh, it is transient, right? The, the utilities have to account for the fact that it's going to change over the course of the day and over the course of time. Um, in certain respects, today was actually an easier day for the utilities in that they knew that this event was coming. You know, the last solar eclipse over Europe like this happened in 1999. How has the region's energy supply and demand changed since? Europe has dramatically increased their, the amount of solar power that they use to power all their homes and businesses. Uh, at this point, I think Germany has close to 40 gigawatts worth of power um, or worth of installed capacity from solar power plants. So what does this mean for the future of solar power and renewable energy? You said that you were... Uh, you know, really heartened by what you saw today. What can we expect down the road? Sure. So this gives other utilities much more confidence uh, to increase the amount of energy they draw from renewables. Um, my company, UGE, we work all around the world in approximately 90 countries. And when we go into the developing world, utilities are very nervous about, uh, about using renewables because they're worried that it's going to destabilize the grid. The event today showed that utilities can draw a significant amount of their power from renewables and still provide reliable power to their customers. And so we believe that it's going to help, uh, especially in the developing world, more utilities increase their percent of uh, renewable power. Scott, we're going to end on a lighter note. Um, I'm sure you probably looked around and saw all these different pictures of, of people enjoying the solar eclipse from all over the world. What was your favorite part? What was your favorite photo? Oh, uh, I don't know about a favorite photo. I, I know that it takes me back to being in elementary school and, and watching some solar eclipses uh, here, in, here in America. But uh, it's a great day for everybody. All right. Scott Van Pelt, uh, thank you so much for joining us from New York City. We appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.